back at it again with the video games. Indeed. You know me too well. I'm gonna wait a bit for more people to show up and then we'll get started. Got two viewers. One of you is uh, you, John. Who's the other one? I really should readjust where that camera is located. I always look like I'm looking down, but uh, I don't have a better spot on my monitor to put it. This game has so many mods running on it, it's not even funny. Seems legit. You got a particular goal to stream, reaching the moon, making a space station, sending your Kerbals in glorious space spaghetti, etc. Uh, the latter might happen whether or not I want it to. But right now, I'm just wanting to get the space program off the ground. So without further ado, we're going to get started. Hello, I am Farflung Wanderer. And we are going to be doing a new Kerbal Space Program career. Uh, let's just quickly run through the difficulty. It's set to custom. I gave myself a somewhat generous amount of money to start with, 70k. Uh, otherwise, it's zeros across the board, 60% rewards for funding and research and rep. Decline penalty. I wonder what that is. Who knows? Oh, we've got a comms network. Um, can't quick save, quick load. Missing crews are dead. We don't hire crew. Uh, we have to buy our parts. Facilities can be destroyed. We're not using stock vessels. Kerbals will rank up. Uh, we can go into the negative. Parts have pressure and G-force limits, and so do Kerbals. Um, that scares me. Uh, manually transferring resources across parts that cannot cross feed with each other. Interesting. Uh, parts can be upgraded. Uh, probes require signal to be useful, and comms go down when you enter uh, planetary atmospheres. But the entire planet is one big ground station now, which is nice. And these are some mod settings. There, I couldn't even begin to tell you how many mods we have running at the moment. So, looking at the flags that we have for options. What does that one look like? Uh, it's kind of too small to make out. I'll go with my old standby. Just call this uh, stream. Stream career. We should be good. Yep. Let's get started. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, Kerbal construction time. This is a biggie. No longer do things just get built. And now take time to be built. We're going to pick the... I think... Which version was I using when I was testing? I think we're using this. Fab and... Uh, ooh... I like that. So what does all that mean? Vastly slower science and build with costlier upgrade. We're going to go with very slower. We have 16 points of research that we can put in. And buy more points of science or funding. Interesting. So I would say looking at the space plane hangar, we should do... Ooh. What did we just do? How 
Huh. I'm trying to figure this out. Yes, Space Gang, Space Gang. I'm still trying to sort this all out. We'll leave the remaining five points in reserve. So, um... Hang on. This is for KOS, which is a uh, scriptable programming for probes and stuff. Let's see. Comnet management or permit all. We'll do comnet net connectivity. All right. So uh, this is our space program. Uh, we've got a lot to do. As you can see, everything's kind of at a uh, bare minimum. We only have so much money. We do have some contracts to go with, so we shall start with getting scientific data. These... expire in five hours. We're gonna leave that one in reserve, you know what? Get into the space plane hangar. Fortunately, we're not building a plane necessarily from scratch. Let me just try to remember where you can... Uh... So here we go. We're going to grab this. I made this on my own uh, using uh, modded parts. This is the Kerwith Hopper. It's a... Effectively, it's a sop with camel. In a manner of speaking. I've been wondering if I should clip these wings, though. Something to consider. It's a reliable old bird. Oh, yeah, and by the way, time ticks inside of the engineering facilities now. It's not frozen. We are actively chewing up daylight, spending time here. Anyways, this is a pretty simple plane. It's got a 600 RPM um, radial engine. Has... Let's see, it's got 50 units of oxidizer, but that's not the amount of fuel it has, is it? It's got a dry mass of 1.4 tons, but a wet mass of 18 tons, if I'm reading that correctly. Hang on, I've already screwed the pooch. All right, let's save this to our own career. So now we've got that. It's a reliable old bird. I'm actually kind of fond of it. Um, this is technically not the only thing we have. I know the game says we technically have access to the Mark One command pod, but we won't be doing crewed uh, missions for a long time. We'll be doing aircraft, but any rocketry we do will be through sounding rockets. We'll worry about that in a bit. Anyways, this is a pretty reliable craft, and we can use it as our mainstay for a little while. And we'll go into doing some more aircraft research as time goes on. Unfortunately, um, the mod this is from, Fire Spitter? Yes, yes, mods. Oh, oh, you mean you want a mods command? Uh, I don't have Nightbot set up? Hang on, let me just read from my game data file. Click-through blocker, filter extensions, toolbar, airplane plus, aviation lights, community resource pack, community tech tree, craft manager, dated quick saves, easy vessel switch, editor time, fire spitter. Why is this in... oh dear. We might actually need to restart the game. I just realized that something got moved here that shouldn't have been doing that. Alright, hang on. Hang on, stream. Something went snafu on me without me realizing in my mod setup. To quit the game real quick, uh, move some files over, and then reboot it. And you guys get to watch in horror along with me to see how long it takes for this stupid game to boot up. May God have mercy on our souls. 
That is embarrassing. I can't believe that happened. Anyways, so what happened was some stuff got extracted from uh, the downloads, but they were put into a like game data and extra folders inside of the actual game data and extra folders. So I now need to move that all down. So just give me a bit. Hmm. We'll see how this goes. I might live to regret this. And that was supposed to go in the extras file. Hang on. Isn't there an extras file? There might not be an extras file. Okay. Um... This might take some trial and error. We're going to see what happens. But CCAN is not flagging anything. So, we'll have to see how this goes. You guys are seeing a black screen right now. But when the game boots, you start seeing something. Can your future solar is freaking out? Doesn't matter. Don't care, Kerbalism. Can you guys... Yeah, you guys can see the game. Great. You should get this game. It is very fun. I don't have any of the expansion packs, unfortunately. Uh, there's one already out called Making History, which is more of a Cold War focus. Like uh, Soviets and American early programs. And then there's Breaking Ground, which is coming out May 20... May 30th? It's either that or early June. And that's all about probes and cool stuff. And I just don't have the money for it and the Aliens DLC for Arma, so, you know. Uh, no, it's on Steam. Oh, oh, you mean your copy, that's right, that's right. I remember talking to you about that a long time ago. Um, did you ever reach out to their QA team, or not their QA team, their, uh, um... The people that you're supposed to talk to, support, whatever. Did you ever talk to them about that? Also, yes, it's been about two minutes. We're still loading. Look upon my work, see mighty in despair. So to answer the question of how many mods, too many. I, uh, it is what it is. Okay, good. It's finished. Anyways, let's get back to it. I gotta move this little widget. It's a toolbar widget. But it's in kind of an unusual spot. Ah, uh, who knows. Anyways, we were in the space plane hammer. No, uh, space plane hangar, even.
And we had our Sopwith of sorts. Yeah, so this actually is... Ooh. Hang on. I didn't think I had... Kerbalism working, but it looks like it is, because it is very much tracking the food and water. Hooray. That's great. Anyway. So this is our first aircraft, and will be our mainstay for a little while. Uh... Is that correct? 632 days to build this. I'll have to play with that a little. That's a bit harsh. I did choose very slow, but when I was testing it, it was about 33 days, not 632. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna add this to the building plans, but not build it just yet. Some apparently, you have a very different definition of the word "very." Uh, yeah, apparently. Anyways, yeah. So we've got that added to the building plan. All right. So I need to tweak those options, because that's, um, a lot. I see very slower. All right, we'll do, VB we'll do this one. I think this was the one I actually ended up using. So if I were to go to Space Plane Hangar, Plans, Curve with Hopper. Uh, 28 days, that's much more like it. Oh, interesting, we can rename our launch pads. Uh, hang on. I don't know how to get rid of that floating fire spitter, I'm sorry, chat. It's just kind of there. Maybe it'll go away eventually. So the space plane hangar is doing its job. Close that. We do... we have negative 11 points. Why do we have a negative 11 points? How dare I? How dare I what? Oh, boy. Oh, that's right, because it, uh... There we go. We are now at zero points. Which I spent. Allowing me to be as costed by unskippable ads on my Twitch channel. You know, that's the thing. I don't understand why I have ads on my Twitch channel. I'm not an associate or whatever the first tier of Twitch people get. I like... The, the very slower because it's um you have to recondition your launch pad and stuff after every launch but it's just too much it's just too much a uh, fortnite ad when I joined I think the ads are just mandatory not now oh well that's unfortunate I'm sorry I, there's not really anything I can do about that anyways well we've got our space plane in the works we're also going to look at the uh, vehicle assembly building and get some work started there. Is Daniel receiving some form of payment for them, or is that the price they charge for providing him with a platform now? I... until I become a, uh, yes, until I become like a Twitch associate or whatever, which requires like 50 followers. I'm at 17 at the moment. Uh, until that point, I don't get paid for this. Now, I mean, this isn't a career. Hey, thanks for the follow, John. But, like, this isn't a career. I can't get it because it was already on Steam when I bought it. Huh, that is... Yeah, I don't know how to help you there. You'd, you'd have to talk to either Gabe Newell himself or Squad. No problem, I forgot I even had the Switch account, so I only just logged into it. Well, it's good to have you in chat. But, yeah, basically, um... I can just buy the whole thing again. Oh, thanks for the follow, uh, Quinn. I was wondering if you guys had done that, but I had forgotten. Alright, we're up to 19. That's almost two-fifths of the way there until I start getting paid. Anyways, what were we? Uh, so, because crude programs are kind of crazy at this level of technology and it's something that's always 
two-fifths of the way there. It doesn't quite roll off the tongue there, Billy Joel, which you can try. We were killing Kerbals in strange and unusual ways for our personal amusement. Yeah. Do we even care? Uh. Anyways, um... One of my major gripes with how Kerbal Space Program does things is that it's just kind of like, Hey, here's a crude space program with zero of the technological workup to deserve it. Which is just, to me, bizarre, because yeeting people up into the sky was a thing we did, but it was after yeeting a lot of technology up into the sky uncrewed first. So, I've remedied that problem slightly with the sounding rockets, which are small mini-rockets that can do a few things. First of all, they're cheap, which is great. Um, to follow, there's no people aboard them, so I don't need to worry about any casualties. And third of all, they allow me to get kind of a grips of how to build rockets without paying out the nose for problems. Boo, boring, how dare you make your supposed program OSHA compliant. I actually am legitimately curious now what kind of regulations OSHA has for NASA. We need a real Soviet space program with as many casualties as possible. Um... Well... I can ask the Kerbal engineers if they will piss on the launch platform before every launch, as is actual, literal Soviet tradition. But I don't think they're going for it. No, I'm not kidding, that was the thing they did. So we have... that's not gonna work. We have a rocket. We've got a very small rocket, actually. Look, man, if you're not actively killing your astronauts for shits and giggles in order to establish the funniest memes of cosmic suicide, then what are you even doing with your taxpayer dollars, huh? You know, honestly, that's another problem with Kerbal Space Program, is that, ostensibly, you're a public organization, but you still have to worry about how much money you make. So there's no funding. You, you, you're providing your own funding by doing contracts, and it's just kind of weird. It's more of a like a SpaceX simulator than anything else. Oh, hey, launch sticks. We will get to the to the to the Mars colonies. I promise. Okay, cool. We've got our launch stick. Honorary public. <laughs> Genetically engineered cat girls. You're concerning me. Uh, the only the only problem with this is that hear me up. Oh, uh, oh, good. We do have payload fairings. Great. It's my job to concern you. That's why I'm here. That is fair. You don't want IRL cat girls. I'm not sure what I'd do with all the fur. I would say make sweaters. Have you imagined, like, do you imagine a fur sweater, like a cat fur sweater? That that would itch like a. Mm. I I can't recommend that course of action, Holly. I'm sorry. Uh, what can we stick on this thing? We don't really need a battery. We don't need a communications... Oh, I just realized something important. We need a decoupler. We should have one of those around here somewhere. We don't. We don't have a decoupler. Ooh. And we probably shouldn't get too fancy with this, then. Because we're not recovering any of this, or we're going to have to recover the whole thing. Also, all the people... Okay, genetically engineer Fluffy or cats first, then also all the people who would want to pet it. Yeah, I suppose. All right, so let's think. 
What do we want on this first rocket? We want... I think... What we really want is a rudimentary science payload. What is this? What does this do? It's real cheap. It's 150... Um, it's also huge. What the hell? Why is it so big? Look at this thing. Can I scale that down? God, I don't know what that's designed for. Not this. I suppose genetically engineering away our nerve endings would solve both of these problems. Um... You might be throwing the baby out with the bathwater there. That is the biggest mega... Wow, okay. That's Kerbal Engineering System. That's also, I think, from Kerbal Engineering System. Maybe on larger rockets we can slot that in, but not here. Do you want to wear your genetically engineered cat girl sweater in peace or not? <laughs> How do I not have a quotes channel on my Discord? Let's let's be dead honest, John. Where did you think this conversation was going? Where could it have gone? I say a meteorological study package. It's not quite look right. And we need a telemetry package and avionics, otherwise this thing won't have any control. So let's slot that in there. Good. Put the payload fairings on. And then the last touch is the nose cone. To be honest, I'm not sure. Well, yeah, yeah. Anyways, here's our nose cone parachute. Unfortunately, I can't change the paint to this, I don't think. So, there should be a time limit to Kerbal Space Program. No. This isn't speed chess, this is literal rocket science. Alright, we need to fix our staging. Uh, we want the payload fairings to come off... After... I can't be guaranteed that I'll have control of the rocket once it takes off, because I'm not actually sure what the... Uh... Okay, how does this work? This... This actually does have... Oh, interesting. I could program using KOS. You know, uh, that kind of scares me. I don't... Take too long the commies beach to the moon and then dab on you for the rest of history. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I suppose I may or may not have to worry about that. Alright, I think we have... To some degree here, a working rocket. Uh, actually, I'm gonna... Would there be a significant loss of aerodynamics if we were to blow this off? I'd have to say no. No, no. It would give it a new way for it to drag. Okay. So, where will we install the Bluetooth? Uh, that'd probably be the avionics package, honestly. Alright, so this has a maximum acceleration of 101.1 meters per second squared, which beats gravity pretty handily. Max thrust of 25 kilonewtons. It's got a pretty low mass of uh, 0.225 tons. The surface thrust to weight ratio of 11.3. I'd, I'd say that's pretty good. So, like, looking at Kerbal Engineer... Ah, okay, so we've got a dry mass of 70... Kilograms? Well, I guess it was 0.225. That's saying tons, but that's saying kilograms, and those don't line up quite right. Hmm. I don't know which of these to trust. Um... 
Oh well. Uh, I don't think it will matter too much here. All that's left to do is to name it, save it, and add it to the part list so we can start building one. I say we build three, and then after the launch of one of them, we'll look into redesigns. So let's just call this the... Um, Call it the Javelin one. Alright, let's add this to the part list. And we'll leave the space plane hangar, or the, uh, the vehicle assembly building. So if we go to the vehicle assembly building, oh, hang on, we have to go to plans. Let's build one, two, three Javelin ones. That costs a lot of money. Actually, I wonder how much money we have now. Uh, where do I see that information? It's in here somewhere. Admin? Okay, we're doing actually kind of okay on money. We're at 52,000. We started with 70. Thankfully, the sounding rocket's really cheap. Um, we will not concern ourselves with alternative design philosophies until after the hilarious explosive violence. Yes! This is actually important. For... For crude missions, I intend to use my alternate save, which is a uh, sandbox save, and do a lot of design testing, both on and off stream. But for sounding rockets like this, explosive violence is the order of the day. So anyways, um, with the alarm clock... Actually, can I maximize this to see the whole... no? Okay, um, I'll have to look at this. This has the... So the space plane hangar will have this done in 28 days, and this will have that done in 16. So we're going to warp to completion of the javelin. Okay. The Javelin 1 is complete. I'm going to fast forward to the morning. Made in heaven. Okay. It is now dawn on day 17 of our space program. We have our first sounding rocket ready to launch, and I think we will. Uh, while we're here, let's check the mission control. We're going to add that. We have two active missions from the Kerbal World's First Record Keeping Society, but the one that we're going to uh, succeed, hopefully, is both of these, actually. Yes, alright. So, without any further ado, we're going to go to Javelin 1 and launch it. And see what happens. This could end very poorly very quickly. However, whoop, 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 oh. We're going to, um... We're going to recover the launch. <laughs> no, fire! We're going to recover this. And, uh... Attempt that again. Okay, so, lesson learned. I had assumed, foolishly, that, um... I had assumed rather foolishly that that would be, uh... Damn. Okay, so we have to... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to cancel the other two javelins. We're going to have to very quickly fix them in the VAB so that they have a support base. But we have a built javelin and I want to launch it. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit spacebar very quickly. May God have mercy on our souls. We can rename it after it lands. Okay, we've got like scant seconds. Oh, so it just puts it on the pad like that. Okay. Do you want to do something, Rock? Oh. 
Oh dear. <laughs> Dying astronaut crowd laughing. Uh, we can't launch the rocket without the uh, launch platform. We've got a dead rocket here. We have to recover it. We'll get our money back, but that's unfortunate. Lesson learned. Uh, yeah, that doesn't work. Okay. Somebody didn't stop the gas. Actually, it was fully fueled. We got all of our money back, technically. We got most of our money back. Placid, tame, crow, John... Oh, yeah, it's a Twitch clip. Thank you. Um... What have we learned? Uh... These are not stable launch platforms to launch from. They need a, uh... Yeah, it's a launch stick. Come on, line up. Thank you. Okay, so it's got eight units of solid fuel. Well, what I don't understand is... German science. We don't actually... I don't know what the Kerbal equivalent of German science is, but we don't have that. Okay, so we need to do something about this problem. Because that launch stick will... Uh, I think we put this down. That might actually secure it. He's working on it. I appreciate your patience in this trying time. We're going to put... Uh, do I want to really mess with this to add more of a base? Because I am worried it flips over. Easy there, Kerbal. Yeah, like that. Okay, let's add... There we go. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, the only other problem is that we are launching this thing just straight up. Which will add a bit of a parabolic arc to it. We shorten the launch stick. Uh, you know, that's a good point. I am a bit worried about the implications of phasing into an object in Kerbal Space Program, but we're going to find out, man. If this leads to this thing crackening out, I'm blaming you. I'm also going to put a bit of a tilt to this thing. It's just be a minor... No... Well, that's interesting. Um, okay, so that doesn't quite work. We're going to have to worry about that later. Physics is really more of a suggestion, anyway. They'd be more like guidelines than actual rules. Alright, um, with that managed, we're going to add this to the building plan. And we're just going to build one. We're gonna we're gonna see how this works first, and then we'll ante up. Anyways, the Kurt with Hopper is next on the line. It'll be done in a couple of days. Find to be responsible for sending our first rocket into cosmic transcendence. So be it. Were you there, John, when we stretched like a space shuttle across the twelfth dimension? Somebody was. I remember doing that when I was at college. Anyways, the Kerwith Hopper is done. No, but it sounds lit. Then who was I with? Because I did it in front of... Hmm. Alright, anyways. We have an actual working aircraft now. Ooh, hang on. Oh, right. That's right, it's kind of anal about that. We need to rename this to the... For designation purposes, we'll just use the call sign on the side of it. I love Lovecraftian Horror Simulator. I do too. Just call it the K1. Alright. We'll pick Jebediah Kerman. He'll be our first pilot. It took us 30 days, but we're actually about to launch something. So it's been a month. Fill tanks and launch.
To balance out this game's absolutely atrocious aircraft controls, we're going to use the excellent Mouse Aim Flight mod. I love it to death. But before we take off, let's take a very quick crew report. There we go. I don't think there's really anything else to be done, so... You thought it was Kerbal Space Program, but it was I, Flight Simulator. All it needs is an enemy fighter squadron. It can be done, but it's a bit tricky. Um, it requires more mods. Anyways, let's kick the throttle. Oh, shush, sticky keys. Nobody likes you. The runway's a bit bouncy, unfortunately, but... We are aloft. What's German for useless? Um... You know, I used to know that. I mean, my brother, unfortunately, doesn't know. I'd have to go to Google for this. I'm sorry. My German has atrophied a lot over the last couple of years. In any case, we've got a working aircraft. So, uh, here's a question. Where are you going with this plane? Technically nowhere. It's just a quick pop-up and fly around, just to prove that the aircraft is worthy. And it is a wonderfully aerodynamic aircraft, too. Well, I do have to be careful about stall forces and G-forces, because I will snap this plane asunder. And obviously I don't want to pancake it. The ocean seems to be mocking you. I suggest ramming it. There we go. There's a specific camera mode so that, yeah, I think Chase is it. Let's turn on uh, air control and uh, very quickly check my fuel. Okay, we're good. You're challenging. Quinn, I sincerely doubt he's taking us top with Camel to space. Okay, uh, I do have something called Hyper Edit. I do have... Do I do this for the memes? Orbit Editor. I don't... I don't think I should. <laughs> this is mainly for debugging. And I can't quick save and quick load, so if this kills me instantly, or if I send it back to a regular altitude and it causes the thing to crack in, I'd lose my first aircraft. Who acts as he pleases in this world? You know what? Fine. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Anyways, 2000... Uh... <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> That's what I was worried about! You need to eject? You need to eject? <laughs> ah! I can't. I can't... Okay, I need to set my velocity to zero. I need to set my altitude to zero. Oh, jeez. Nope. Instantaneous death. Well... 
Yeah. Um, I can't. That can't be canon. We're going to start over. All the things are saved. I need to. I need to very quickly move some saves over. I'm sorry. That's just. We no. I'm sorry. I can't. That's just. I lost a pilot. For me. And it was funny. I'll admit. But. You can't just kill Jebediah for shiggles. So just give me a second to rewind the clock a little. I need to sort... I need to load it from... Uh, stream career. I need to save this. What do you mean you can't? You literally just did. I can't. I can't let it be canon. Is the problem. If I had killed its velocity first, I think I might have been okay. But I didn't realize it would do that. So we're going to delete this. We're going to make a new one. And this time we're going to do it right, I swear. It will take me much shorter to get set up because I just have to load some part files. So let's do custom based off of hard. We set our setting funding to 70,000. Everything else is fine. In here we need part pressure, g-force. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's all good. Okay, we're good. We're good. Bites the dust. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, nothing happened. Why do you guys do this to me? I remember the part in G Jojo where Kira became the director of NASA. I do too. It was a very interesting part. Part 4 is weird. Okay, so we need to very quickly do a few things. We need to build K1 again. But that's going to be pretty easy. So we just go to Open File. We go to Simulator. Select the. I shouldn't be able to select this. I don't have the technology. This is a. Yeah, why do I have the ability to even look at this? That's weird. By the way, that design didn't pan out. I'll have to play around with it in my own time. Sorry to go to my save. Yeah, just the Kerwin Hopper. Add this to building plans. Space frame hangar. Okay. Then we go to the vehicle assembly building, we load the Javelin 1, we start building that, and then we just let time tick, and the Jav 1 will be the first thing to be built. We'll test that, and then we'll look at um, our designs. Oh, there we go, load that. Save it, okay. Add it to the build part. That fighter plane is clearly incapable of extraterrestrial transportation in long periods of time and is therefore subpar for this establishment. Technically, if I had found a slightly less physics-y, breaky way of getting it into upper uh, Kerbin orbit, or actually low Kerbin orbit, we were pretty close, uh, it might have handled things a little bit better, but, um, yeah. Ooh, hang on, how did we end up building two of those by accident? We need to... Space plane's bringing one, one. Okay, great. Uh, okay. Yep, we're good. Alright, so now we, uh, we just pass time until the Javelin 1 is done. And this is going to be a little bit longer than the, the, uh, the one we built, because this one has those four, um, metal parts to act as a support base, and that, that pads out the time. Okay, it is technically day 24. Actually, it's just a little after what the game considers to be noon. So I think... I think we're in a position to test the Javelin 1, which uh, we shall rename... I didn't mean to edit that. It shouldn't affect us. We should be okay.
pencil edits. There we go. So, Javelin is the name of our launch platform, but it's not the name of the program. So, what do we call this program? How about... We'll call it the, as it's the first program, we shall use the first letter of the Greek, the Rifleman Space Center. Don't you start that again. It'll be the Alpha, space, uh, the alpha program. So that's Alpha 1. I'm starting that again. God, every week, something. All right. Good news. This is not Krakened. Oh wait. Ah. Uh, Krakened a little. Don't tempt him, John, or pull the whole station to the moon or <laughs> prove us wrong. Okay, so we have a minor problem. I don't know how to start the engine. Nothing. I don't know how to start the engine. There's no probe control. There's no probe control. We need a Communitron. It's automated. You forgot to program in a launch command, didn't you? No, um... It has no... We have to open it up. There's uh there's a uh, one or two problems. There's one or two things. It could be that. It could be that I actually have to command it, like give it a some kind of automation. And I hope not because I don't know how to script. I think the larger issue is that it needs a communication relay and it doesn't have one. And I mean really it should have given me a warning. Yeah, there's no warning there. That's just because in the vanilla game you don't need to worry about connecting to the commsat network. Uh, okay, so... Let's remove that fairing and let's look at the uh, avionics package. It has mech jab and it has an antenna rating. It does have an antenna rating. So, have you considered adding an on-off switch? Yes. Honestly, I don't understand why it's not launching at all. It should be able to launch on its own. That's what I don't get. I don't understand why it's not launching. I tried rebooting. Well... No, that's not useful. Uh... Okay, so it says no loaded CPUs found. Why does it have Telnet? What does that even mean? Hang on, I need to Google what KOS exactly does. Because if this is screwing me, we're in trouble. How does KOS work? Here's the documentation. Okay, I found both the full documentation and a quick start tutorial, so let's just... Okay, so the avionics component does not is not considered by KOS to be something I can program. That's so oh, that's fine. I I am willing to wager that the issue is that it just does not have a communications antenna. And if we add one of these, that should solve the problem immediately.
I'm gonna have it start extended. Actually, I'm gonna lower it so it's down here. That way there's no chance the antenna gets damaged by the uh, pylons flying out when they're ejected. Alright, so I'd say that's good. It extended our build time by another three days. Look, it's right next to the engine, sure, but there's a blast shield. It should be okay, probably. To be absolutely honest, I don't think engine exhaust is counted by the game terribly much by anything. Oh, no wonder. Look at that. That minor little pop that it's got there from that launch stick. Hang on, hang on. We'll lower it like that, that way it's got a stable. Getting a sinking position, those comments were not genuine. We'll be okay, we'll be okay. Um, I don't think uh, launch exhaust is actually tracked by the game terribly much, which is what I meant to say, and I don't know how much of it I was actually able to speak. So we're going to add this to the building plan. Once again, we add this construction. Once again, the Kerwith Hopper will be finished soon. Ish. Oh, interesting. Got saved as the Alpha one. That's what we want to build. Oh, I'm going to have to fix that. Hang on. Not mean to save it as the Alpha One, I wanted to save it as the Javelin One. Okay, so we're going to delete uh, the, this. We're going to rename this to be Javelin One. There we go. We're good. We're good. So while the one we're building is going to be called the Alpha One, all future javelins we build will be properly called the actual name of the launch platform. So we're okay, we're okay. So... Uh, work to complete of the hopper. We have not made very much money, but that's okay. You should teleport the hopper into space. It'll be funny. It was funny the first time. Not so much the second or even the third. Alright, so that will be the K1. That's a lowercase k. There we go. Okay, we got the right name for this thing. And we shall launch it. Jebediah will go up. And this time we're actually going to do a proper flight. Teleport the planet to the moon. I don't think I actually can do that. But leave the rest. What happens if you teleport something to a negative altitude? It dies instantly. Because that's underground by Kerbal logic. Oh. Go to help. Stupid. Um, sticky keys. Can you make it so negative it comes out the other side of the planet? Um, that's a good question that I don't want to test right now. I could load up my simulator save and answer those inane questions, but, um... Not with my actual plane. Dear God, not again. I don't want to have to do all this again. Thrice in one stream. As you can see, this is a pretty reliable plane. We're going to buzz the auxiliary airfield. Uh, what you're looking for is useless data. <laughs> uh, let me just pull out that so we can track how much fuel, food... Okay, so, yeah, alright. So we are tracking oxygen, water, and all the stuff that Kerbalism does. Kerbalism is a realism mod. Oh, speaking of realism mods... Um, ooh, hang on. Is Axial Tilt not working? Uh... I can't tell. I'll have to check that. I had 
emphasis on had a mod working called Axial Tilt. So in Kerbal Space Program, uh, they didn't do planets don't have axial tilts. They're all if you imagine an XYZ coordinate system, all planets are orientated so that they line up perfectly with the Z axis. Um, but in reality, planets have kind of a tilt one way or another. Uh, and some mad lad actually managed to find a way to mod that in. Mm, God only knows how. But, um, so don't they have seasons then? Uh, because trying to program seasons in Unity is difficult. Uh, somebody, someday, will make something pedantic enough. Okay, so I have to watch this fuel. Uh, we have max of 20. And our point of no return will be 12. So I'm looking at... Here's the problem. I don't think I can recover the aircraft at the auxiliary airfield, so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to turn the plane around and make a return course to a real sharp turn and put it through some maneuvers. This is kind of like a final test. Don't make me turn the spy plane around, young man. Not what I was asking, but I'll accept it anyways. Yeah. But I want McDonald's. McDonald's, McDonald's. Yeah, but for an early game aircraft like this, this will be our mainstay. We'll R&D better aircraft that actually have decent fuel capacity that allows us to have some real range. And this aircraft, for the record, does have significantly less range than the historical stop with Camel had. Um, that could go on for kilometers and kilometers, but uh, Kerbal Space Program has kind of weird concepts of how far a thing should move, so... Say la vie. Yep, we've hit that point of... we've got to hit that turn. Designed and built by Gremlins. Um, actually, it was made by a Mexican advertisement company, bizarrely enough. Yeah, fun fact. Squad, before they made the Kerbal Space Program, if I'm not mistaken, and my memory serves me, and I think I'm right, they used to do advertisements for a Mexican company. There are Mexicans in Kerbal Space Program. The developers are Mexican. It's a Mexican company. I'd have to look it up to be 110% sure, but if my memory serves me right, uh, Squad did advertisement campaigns in Mexico, um, and one of the developers made Kerbal Space Program. That explains the JoJo <laughs> references. Uh, yeah, sure. But anyways, one of the developers started working on this in his spare time or something like that, and it caught on way more than the than the people were expecting. My elevators working properly? Yes, they are. I can see them. All right, this landing's a bit hot. We'll see how it goes. Let's try not to lose an airframe this early in. They underestimated the amount of nerds in the U.S. and Europe. Yeah, they really did. All right, successful recovery. Um, shut down the engine, and we will. We can't recover it because if you recover it, the vessel's uh, removed from existence, like it is in vanilla. So what we actually have to do is we have to open up um, the right spot here. Go to the space frame hangar and recover the act. Sorry, recover the active vessel. So, we have a working aircraft. We have science. We've got technically our money back, but we have a plane that we can use. So if I were to go to here, if I were to go to the space plane hangar, there's K1. All we have to do is refuel it, and she's ready to go again. 
So with that out of the way, let's look at what we managed to get done, because we managed to get done a lot. So we've got our vessel complete message. Our world's first accomplishments, we got a lot of those. That's why we're so rich now. We're rich, quote-unquote. But most importantly, we have our Krite sp Grand Spranberries. Okay. Whatever that means. Okay, heaviest vessel launched. Yes, okay, we got some achievements. Great, okay. So we're doing, we're doing great. Uh, that's the KSP EDIA. I don't want to look at that right now. So, um... Actually, now would be a good time to look at that actual tilt mod to make sure that's working. If it's not, I'll have to fix it some other time. I would like it, Flight Engineer, if you got out of my way. Ah, okay, so something went awry. I'll have to look at the mod. So, um, when the mod's working right, this should all be one flat disc, and all of these objects should have uh, tilts, which is how it actually works and how space travel actually works. But, um,. To bootstrap it in a Kerbal Space Program, what uh, Squad ended up doing was just keeping the planets oriented up down and tilting them, tilting their uh, their orbits, which is not how that works. But hey, you know. So looking at the contracts we have for us, we have. Okay, that's a contract to do some uh, stuff at above 16 kilometers, and I can guarantee you that our aircraft cannot go that high. So we need to look for contracts below certain heights. They're all saying above. What Kerbal Space Program really needs is a K uh, CK2 mod. Call me crazy, but I swear there was one. I would, I would need to check, but I could swear there was a Crusader Kings uh, KSP mod. Like a, a, a Kerbal Space... Uh, there was a mod for Crusader Kings that added in Kerbals. There's certainly one for Stellar. So let's look at these contracts themselves. Okay, so this is saying... Yeah, above a height. We can't do anything above any height. Yeah, above a height can't do that. Above a height can't do that. Above a height can't do that. There's always these. So that's still above. Looking for we're looking for contracts that say below a certain height. I knew it wasn't the only idea. one with ideas is brilliant. Can't do that. Yes, here's one. Here's one that's doable. Below seventeen, uh, seventeen point eight hundred meters. So if we were to go to the tracking station and try to find that, we can look at the distance that's above. Yeah, here we go. Test site. T519. In fact, it looks almost right on top of the Space Program Center. Okay. There's another one right there. Actually, there's three contracts we can look at, so we'll take them on one at a time. One day at a time. Because of fuel constraints. While we, uh, build the next JAV. So... This expires in four days. The offer expires in four days. Five hours. Five hours. But... Uh, the duration is several years, so we'll grab the ones that expire in a couple of hours, because we can only hold on to two. Get rid of that one. Above, below. Yeah, five hours. We'll grab that. Okay, we've got two contracts. And we've got years to do them. So we're going to fast forward to the next morning, just so we have continual progress on the, uh, on the, the JAV. We're going to launch the K-1. We're going to have Jeb replaced with Valentina, who is our second pilot. Okay, we spent a bit to get the fuel loaded. Better have something special for K-9. Uh, we'll change our naming nomenclature in time. I might actually build a second one of these, though, so I can fly two flights a day. We'll have to see. It is a stop with camel, I'm just saying. Okay, so we've got fuel tracked, we're good. I need to find the test sites. Okay, so we'll grab Manly's Pride. Wow, is that a Scott Manley reference? We might be able to snag both of these, we'll have to see. Actually, question, am I technically in... Oh, 
Oh, how do I already have a crew report? Okay, let's push it up. Maximum throttle for uh, takeoff. This thing becomes airworthy pretty quick, so we're up already. We're just going to do a sharp bank over. If we're lucky, if I keep an eye on my fuel, I should be able to get both of these in one go. I just have to watch my throttle setting. Technically this thing... Oh, okay. Good. Alright, so let's put this in... Okay, it's in a kind of stable. So we're going to take a crew report, overwrite the existing. Great. Can't uh shoot. Okay, so it looks like if I want to take another crew report, it's gonna overwrite the original. So what we're going to have to do is we're gonna to have to immediately land this thing. Fuel it up and go out again. And I'm gonna put in a work order for another hopper pretty much immediately so we can fly two of these in a day. That way both Valentina and Jeb have pretty consistent piloting experience. On the plus side, we are going to make a, a lot of savings on the fuel. Which is important. Lower the throttle to about 60%. It's really closer to like 58 And start making our runway approach. When I have money for it, I'm going to upgrade that runway so it's a bit more of a smooth surface. That bumpy, craggy mess is going to get us killed one of these days, I swear. I also need to start putting research into uh, the science department. Get things going there. We'll worry about that after the first uh, rocket launch. Which is in a matter of days. So those cat girls aren't going to genetically engineer themselves. True. Yeah, um... You were kind of right, John, about this being a rifleman space program. Uh, we're not going to be doing anything sexy, like really sexy for a while. But on the plus side, because of the sheer difficulty of the mods I've got on, I feel like we're going to compensate for uh, that by just making everything a lot more difficult and thusly rewarding. So, we're not going to be doing interesting things like landing on the moon, really, anytime. But when we get to it, it's going to be a real accomplishment, because we'll have fought to get there. I mean, we're going to be doing docking practice, and launch practice, and going through rocket after rocket after rocket. I mean, we're going to get a lot done over the weeks. But everything starts with a single step. And I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of these uh, money flights early in, but we're gonna, they're going to drop off once we start having real successful program. I mean, I'm, we're talking, I'll start designing aircraft that have really long range, so that we only need one to do these science flights. We'll actually start getting actual science rather than just running around for corporations. I mean, there's, there's a lot we can do that we're getting to soon. Okay, so that's in 19 days. Yeah, that contract's complete. So let's grab the other contract. Let's see, that's above. Above. There's the other one. Got that. Okay, great. Um, cancel that contract. Any of these above contracts we just have to cancel. They're just not useful to us. Okay. So, uh, anyways. 
let's order a second copper. That'll be done in another 28 days. Uh, there's no upgrades to be done because that's based off of the plane upgrades. Anyways, here's our massive tech tree to get through. Um, I mean, just look at it. We're starting all the way over here with basic, basic, basic parts. But someday, we're going to have friggin' warp drives, man. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. As it stands, we've got eight science. That's enough to unlock one of these two basic things. Um, Engineering 101 is more for aircraft design, kinda. This is more for basic rocketry, and I think I'm going to have to go with, for now, this. We're going to keep working down the uh, aircraft design tree. I wouldn't worry about a lot of these fire spitters parts past the early biplanes. I don't really like the quality of it. It's a very old mod. It hasn't been updated in a long time. It still technically works, but only just. Uh, we're looking more toward when we start getting stuff from Airplane Plus and Air Kerbal, Airframe, Aircraft Expansion or whatever. There's like... I've got like a grand total of three aircraft mods on, and they all kind of mesh together really well. Anyways, looking at the stuff we have here... Hmm. I think we're going to want to buy the thermometer and the Geiger counter. That's free. Utility wrench. I don't think we really have need of that. Or the decoupler. So we're going to hang on to those parts. Ah, heck, it's 4,000. We're okay. We're, we're flush. We can buy that. Anyways, so that's a bit of research done. Um, we're going to fast forward to the next morning. I'm going to have these contracts open so I can keep an eye on them. So today will be a Jebediah flight. Oh, I already had him in. Whoop. Fill tanks and launch. One of the important things about doing these little minor contracts is that it's science. It's it's effectively free science. It's free money. And insert the free real estate joke here too. Uh, it's just it's just a good way to get your program started so that way you have money for ambitious programs, which we're going to get to, I promise. Anyways, um... Okay, that's set. Let's mark... That one's... That one might actually be too far out for us to get. We'll have to look at it. Manly's Pride we can definitely get. We'll look at getting that one. That more distant one. That there's the face of a man who knows he's not going to live to see the successful rocket. Hey, you know... I'll skip to... I'll do like, uh, woo -woo. I'll be skipping forward to our first, um... Okay, here's a compromise, here's a compromise. We'll do... Four of these kinds of moneymaker flights which are pretty short and simple to do for every scientific flight. Just saying, you already killed him once just because you forgot to turn physics off. Yeah, true. Uh, looking at that distance, well... If we can make it to that, if we can make it to Manly's whatever it's called, if we can make it there, we can make it to the other spot. Question is returning. That's my concern. So we're gonna have to keep a pretty tight eye on fuel. And we're gonna lower our speed to a cruise. Sir, sad yet manly Scottish bagpipes here. If you have not watched Scott Manly, you should. He's a fantastic YouTuber. I'm trying to remember what the. Uh I'm trying to remember what the uh, the button is for time acceleration. I should be able to update time acceleration, but I'm not seeing the option for it, so... 
I hope we don't have to fly this in real time. Hmm. So we've got... Yeah, this is going to be interesting. We might not be able to make it back to the airport itself, but um, we can recover our aircraft technically anywhere on um, Kerbin, but it'll cost a little bit more because it has to be dragged back. So I think we'll just push our aircraft to get to that spot and then land it, and we'll just have to pay a little bit. I really wish there was more I could do about the fuel capacity. But uh, in an aircraft like this, all the fuel is stored behind the engine. In uh, It's not like how in later aircraft, how they're stored in the wings. It's just canvas and wood in this early gen. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a long flight. So I guess while we putt-putt out there, how's everyone doing? Well, I just saw the notes for the new Warframe update, and holy shit. Yeah, I actually don't know what's happening with the new Warframe update other than, uh... S Spoiled Salad has some body horror robots. Bird Colossus Eidolons on... What? Why are there new Eidolons and why are they on Jupiter? So talk me through these updates, John. What what's been added to Warframe? I've been thinking of caving and getting a uh, Kurtzspiel. More likely Warframe, since I'm getting sick of Heroes of Hammerwatch. I mean, Warframe's free, but, uh, Quinn. It it's free as hell. Like you can just play it. Doesn't cost money, aside from, you know, microtransactions, but that's up to you. I don't know what Kirchspiel is. I mean... Wait, no, that's not... That's... Is it Kirchspiel or Kirchspell? Because Kirchspell is not a word. It's an anime fighting game MMO thingy. Okay, well that would explain why the German's not right. Because uh, if there was an I in there, it'd be Kurtzspiel, which means short game. It's not a word, no, just random in-universe jargon. Oh, okay. Mostly about grinding, and I got sick of Heroes of... Uh, whatever it's called. Hammerwatch. Because it turned into a grind. What exactly is Heroes of Hammerwatch, anyways? Top-down 8-bit RPG roguelike dungeon crawler bullet hell. Well, that's... a thing. How's up the four-man multiplayer? Is it free, or does it cost money? Oh, it is free. Well, maybe I'll try it at some point. I don't know. Oh, after you buy it. Okay. Owen just gave you free copies. I don't think he gave me a free copy. But to be fair, you guys have been hanging out a lot more than I have. Although, he, um... He has offered to play multiplayer Baldur's Gate with me, and I'm very sorely tempted by that. Because that sounds like a good meme. He only had four total, so he gave them to me, Zach, and Quinn, since we were all there that night. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'm glad you guys had fun with it, though.
for as long as it lasts. Yeah, so I'm looking at their fuel. I just need to play some Baldur's Gate with them some more. I just don't know what my schedule is going to be like. Yeah, uh, I'm lucky that my homework is not too bad for this class I'm taking. It's a linear algebra. Like, we have four homework assignments the entire semester. As long as I just keep a, my finger on the pulse there, I should be all right. I got a new job, and I have to take some licensing tests before training begins for the summer. What, what job is that, Quinn? I don't think you've told me. Or if you have, I've forgotten. I'm sorry. But yeah, on the Warframe stuff, there's also the new Warframe, the new tile set on Jupiter, and if you complete... If you complete Chimera Prologue, you can fight the new Eidolon raid boss, which is for some reason on Jupiter and is also a bird. Financial representative for Northwestern Mutual. Oh, interesting. That's kind of a cool job. A bit heady. Hopefully the pay's good. And yeah, I, I don't know why it's a burb and on Jupiter of all places. I blame Salad. I blame Salad for all things. Also new sentient corpus hybrid weapons. Yeah, I've seen them. They're kind of body horror-y. As a result, I don't know how much free time I'm going to have. Well, that's how it is, you know. But hopefully you can make time. Looks like a sniper and a full auto homing laser gas grenade. Whoa, that's some new kit. It's kind of interesting. Okay, I think we're going to have to uh, consider aborting and go for a landing. Because I'm looking at the fuel and I don't think we have quite enough to make it. I'm going to start taking her in for a landing. New Nynx Deluxe skin looks incredible. The Deluxe skins always look great, but they're so expensive, I just don't have the money for them. I would just bite the bullet and get in planning times for goofing off with your guys. I mean, yeah, if you can pencil some time in, that'd be great. Oh, sick, we just entered the zone. So, okay. So we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to... Oh, there's the control for time warp. Alright, we're gonna do the crew report. Got it. Okay. Now comes the hard part. We need to land. Right now, evenings are my jam. Alright, well, start doing stuff in the evenings. So let's take this in for a landing. We'll have to pay a little bit more to recover it, but that's fine. Because we just got a lot of money from that science flight. John, does an Xbox 360 controller work for... It definitely works for Warframe, I can tell you that much. Though, to be absolutely honest, I feel like you'd be better served just learning uh, keyboard and mouse. The game really rewards precision. Okay, so we're just going to bring this... Fortunately, it's really smooth terrain out here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. It's a shame about the engine. We'll have to repair that. But we can recover it. F. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. These things they happen. We can recover it still. Just have to have it repaired. We had a bit of a snafu landing, but we got the money. So we'll just have to fix it. Why in God's name would you use a controller for a shooter like Warframe? Uh, that's what I said, more or less. All right, so we'll have to look at fixing our broken aircraft. Okay, so if we edit it, we should be able to add a part. I might put it in the back of the construction list, but we'll have to see. Yep, save edits should be... You can now refine relics multiple times. Really? That is interesting. Okay, in three days, uh, K1 will be fixed. 
The only game I've ever put any time into without a controller was Hollow Knight, and I intend to reverse that mistake as soon as possible. Yeah, I remember you talking about Hollow Knight. You did not have a good time with that. I'm gonna move that up the list. Oh, can we rush the construction? Oh, we can. For uh, some, some amount of money. Interesting. Way less grindy, though, since you'll need to farm as many relics. Yeah. That is actually really useful. I like that system. That's a very good system. So we're going to warp to complete of that. So our repairs to the K1 should be done soon. Yeah, we got some land distance records done. We're going to warp to complete of our rocket. And test once again to see if that's enough to get it to work. Okay, that rocket's done. That K2 will take a while to finish. So let's go ahead and launch Alpha 1. Let's see how it goes. Okay, rockets on the platform. Why do we not have any control? The antenna is running and it's idle, but we still don't have any probe control. Why do we not have any probe control? Okay, I need to check the settings here. Okay, here's what we're going to do. It's possible that what's happening here is... Um, it's possible that the game doesn't know how to process some antennas, so it's freaking out. So we're just, we're just going to go into settings, we're just going to change that. Uh, if we go to, let's recover this and start over, see if that doesn't fix it. Just need to convince Owen to go back to that Traveler campaign. That would be kind of neat. I liked that campaign. So we're going to try launching this thing again and see if the changes to the difficulty fix the problem. Or DCC. I like DCC as well. We still don't have probe control. Why don't we have probe control? We have... We should have probe control. Why don't... Hang on, I need to check something on the sounding rocket. Could be some kind of bug with sounding rocket. So I need to look into that. I think we might have to just come back to this some other time. I'm going to go ahead and save this, turn it to the space hangar, and um, we'll work on it. I'll have to work on this on my own time, because this is frustrating. I don't want to spend stream time trying to troubleshoot. I've already done that enough today. So we're going to save the game. Uh, actually, I think it already saved. And we're going to switch, we're going to change gears. Um, 
What do I want to play, though? That's the question. Because I'm still planning on going for another hour or so. But, um... I just don't want to play this for another hour, as long as it's being troubling. So, let me look through my game's library. I'm not playing Hunipop on stream. I have standards. Or more efficiently, uh, Steam has standards. Or Twitch has standards. So... Hmm... I've got Arma... Got a heavily modded version of Skyrim. I think you're gonna head out. All right, it was nice having you on, John. Take care, dude. I'll I'll be streaming again tomorrow. I'll be Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. That should be fun. I've got Crusader Kings, but I've already got that going. I've got Total War. I've got Sid Meier's Railroads. That could be a good meme. Who wants to watch me be a railroad tycoon for a bit? The two heroes of Hammerwatch. Alright, I can look into that. Give me a second. Ah, it's, it costs money though, and I don't have money. I'm saving up. I, I don't have a job yet. I haven't heard back from my job. Or from the job application. It's, uh, it's $12. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll get it some other time. Uh, I could play modded to buggery Skyrim. That could be fun. There's that. There's railroads. Have you heard of this new game the kids are playing called Minecraft? I technically do have Minecraft on my computer. I think I do. Yeah, I do, but it hasn't been updated in ages. You know what? I'm, I'm going to commit to railroads, because that just sounds like a good meme. Give me a minute. I have to set up OBS so that it recognizes it. Uh, game capture... What's the worst that could happen? Window, railroads, there we go. Give me just a sec. I have to load up the game and see if it tracks. Okay, now to see if you guys can see that. Okay, it looks like you guys can see it. Can you hear it, though? That's the real question. So let me just very quickly pull up the stream. So let me just very quickly pull up the stream. I can hear you, but not it. Okay. I can hear you, but not it. Okay. Okay, let's restart the game and see if that fixes it. Okay, let's restart the game and see if that fixes it. Okay, I definitely hear game audio. Okay, I definitely hear game audio. The only problem is I have to tab out again so I can change the, uh... The only problem is I have to tab out again so I can change the, uh... And that might screw it up. Okay, if tab back in, can you hear it? Tab back. I think you can hear it now. Okay, great. I'm gonna turn off the uh, the stream audio then, so I can don't hear myself. This, if we get bored of this game, we'll just move on to another one. Just shotgun titles for now. Screw it, you know? We will do... Mm. We'll do Great Britain. That seems like a fun time. No enemy, though. 
Actually, no, we need at least one, two. Actually, if we want to do that, then let's do... Uh, Germany could be fun. No, it's screw. Let's not do a historical one. Let's do, uh... Eh. Meh. Let's do... Two bad guys. Alright, let's do this. Okay, Sid Meier's Railroads is a pretty straightforward game. Um, it's just a build a railroad game. You have you build tracks, you get um, satisfied demands, and you know you make money. So uh, Castana and Burgess are our first two cities, and they connect pretty well demand-wise. They both demand mail and passengers, so we can build a pretty simple rail line. Like so. This game's pretty zen in its own way. It's a very nice, chill game to play. By train, the 222 booth. Just run a passenger and one male back and forth between the two cities. Alright, and they'll start doing that. It's got pretty good detail. It's an older game. I remember playing this as a kid, actually. So I'm kind of fond of it in that nostalgic way. Don't ask me why it's playing American music. Ah, the opposition. I didn't think they'd be that close to me. That was unfortunate. Okay, so you process wood into consumer materials. So let's build a... Let's build a double track here. And let's run that line, which will be dedicated freight. Let's screw over our competition by cutting in front of them and set up there. So now we have an annex, which allows, basically says that you now run supplies from there. Let's set up another rail line from here to here. I mean, this thing will be dreadfully slow, but it's okay. We'll be making money. Galati is next to a pretty large mining company and a sawmill corporation. And then here's Chisinau, which also does passenger. Hmm. Uh, one of the more important things about this game is that you have to manage routing. Uh, if trains overlap their routes, they will very often come into conflict with each other, and that's just trouble. See, by doing this, we've lost, unfortunately, a standwall. That's There's very little chance we'll be able to make any uh, inroads there until we buy out that rail line. Um, but the other hand of that is that we've cut him off. He will have to build some extremely expensive bridge to get over and pass. So we've... Can we spawn the trains in space? Uh, no? I don't think so. It's a weird bit of texture clip there. Oh well. The mayor of Bucharest solicits railways. Where's Bucharest? Right there. So he wants the delivery of paper. That's a problem, because while you take wood, you'd process it into crates. So... Um... Galati. Is where we go next. So let's build a rail line. Let's extend this out. Yeah, we want to build towards Galati and then from there to Bucharest. OK, 
Okay, so that rail line is set up. You can only build off of existing rail lines, so you can't um, you can't really go crazy with it. So this we're actually going to extend out towards. Uh, no, we want a secondary piece of track running through Galati. It builds up to what we really want, which is uh, the the sawmill. Unfortunately, this will be a little bit awkward. Over there. Now we just need to save up some money, which we'll get. No fear. The problem with this is that you have to, uh, you have a pretty high cost doing things. expensive to get started. This is a pretty decent economy simulator in a way. Alright, you're gonna have to leave for a bit to get ready for a road trip. I'll be back and see if you're still on, but don't wait up for me. That's fine, I'll just be goofing around. I might switch off of this game at some point as well. I'm just kind of playing whatever at this point. I'll have to look into KSP at some other time, because it's being weird. Okay, that's set up. So we can start running. We have a little bit more money. We can start running to Kaladi. Like that. The problem is, how are we going to get across? Oh, I know. It's going to be slightly expensive, but I have a plan. So our rival in Istanbul is... Yes, he's definitely cut off from the rest of the world. He's saving up his money, though, you can tell. Bursa is pretty much a guarantee for him. Uh, are there any other towns? No. 240, Midok. It's a good freight train. We'll have to look into replacing our freight lines with that. Where is our other rival? Where is he at? Not in Belgrade. Maybe down in Greece? Not seeing him. I have at least one other rival, but I don't know where he is. It's bizarre. Okay, we need to worry about the cost of this. That's the problem. It's 141 Deutschmarks. Ooh, we're going to place a build on that. Might be able to dominate the competition, might not. We'll have to see. Looking at the amount of money we have. Hate getting into bidding war with this guy. We don't have a choice. Having cheaper rail is important, and I don't want to wait the ten years for it to become open. All right, we got it. We have ten years exclusivity, and once we have a little bit more money, actually, just about gives us enough. For the bridge. So once the next like level of uh yeah, once more money comes in, we just need like one more shipment, we're set. Huh, J. Piers, J. P. Morgan is buying up Napoleon stock. Interesting. 
or we need a little bit more to extend out uh, the rail line to Bucharest. Alright, that should be enough. There we go. Alright, so we need a good 25 to 30,000 to build up a, uh, a rail hub there. That should be enough. Ah, oh, we need 50,000. I was off. There's actually a fair amount of resources in this area that we can exploit. Anyways, without further ado, let's build that uh, that rail hub here in Bucharest, and let's run a freight line from Galati to Bucharest, and it'll put us in the red a little. Yeah, put us a lot in the red, actually, but we're going to be making bank. So it's okay. Uniform is the range in Milan. Paper prices fall. Ah, shoot. That means we're not going to be making quite as much with our uh, paper line. That's a shame. Oh, look at that. What an interesting rail line he's got set up there. Bit of rail gore, but hey, it happens. Alright, so we're doing good. Uh, what are, we don't have any objectives other than just beat everybody. So, that's okay. We should up, uh, upgrade um, one of our rail facilities. I would say Burgess could get upgraded to a station because it's got two different rail lines running through it pretty constantly. You don't have a demand for that. But does Bucharest... Does. But how would I run a rail line there? That's the question. I could run an adjoining rail. Uh, that'd be really complicated, though. But not impossible, just complicated. Hmm. And there's Chisholm now. I still need to figure out how to connect that to anything. I think I'm going to stream for another 30 minutes and then stop. It's, uh... But until then, I'll try to make as much progress in this little game as I can. All right, sweet. That's a uh, hundred thousand cash right there for finishing that little mission. Meh. Okay, so I do want to. Yeah, you know what? Here's what we can do. We will run parallel rail up to here, and then that's going to split off like so. cross like that. I'm going to run parallel rail through Bucharest to there. Connect that. Like so. Alright, sweet. We have a working rail line. Uh, I'm actually going to add a third track here in wow. Burgas. Just to prevent uh, any degree of overflow.
Well done. Okay, so now we can run a freight line from Burgas to Bucharest, carrying these back and forth. And that should make us some pretty decent money. The mayor of Sofia solicits railways. Where's Sofia? It is further west of Bucharest. That's convenient. It demands... We deliver wheat. Where do we get wheats? And grains. Is that even on the map? Okay, it is. It's up by Belgrade. Ah, oh, that's where our opposition is. It's in Belgrade. Ooh, wow, they've actually built pretty far. Look at that. Oh, they're snaking Chisinau. Bastards. I'm guessing that's JP Morgan? No, that's Napoleon. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to start building our, our rail line now then if we're gonna keep ahead of him. So that's our main line, so that's the one we extend off of. Okay, there we go. We can build up a hub in Sofia. Set. Now we build a secondary track. There to there. Extend that out towards that. And this will be expensive, but once again, we're getting screwed by uh, crop prices. But nothing to it. We need the money. Okay, that should give us enough monetary oomph to finish the line. Alright, so we're going to start a rail line from Belgrade grain to Belgrade, it's to Sofia. We'll see where that goes. Okay, we're still doing good on uh, a lot of different things. Galati has grown to be a town. It demands passengers, mail, and food. Galati's grown to be a town. Galati. Oh, interesting. Okay, so J.P. Morgan and Napoleon are both selling stock, but I think I'm actually going to invest in my own stock a little here when I can. I don't know if I really want to fight them for that. I don't think it's too useful for me. I don't have a lot of super tight turns in my rail out. Route. I think we'll let him have it, or have J.P. Morgan and him fight it out. It doesn't look like they're going to be fighting, so... Not yet. A rail line between Galati and uh, Chisinau might solve a few problems, so I think we'll do that. Extend that out. You have to be very careful with your placement so that you don't end up uh, building bridges and tunnels when you don't need to. We're going to do something a little bit risky. We're going to risk uh, having some degree of... Ooh. It's a weird little grade. We got it. We got it. So, this takes coal. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Ah, shoot. I screwed up. 
Okay, I need to... I need to frag this. Nuts. That's a shame. Now it's trying to run through that, and I don't want that. Oh well, oh well. Actually, guys, I think I'm going to stop here. It's been a fun stream, but, uh, only two hours. I know it's short, but, uh, the technical problems kind of threw me off my game. So, it was nice having you on. I hope you all take care. Uh, we'll be streaming Stalker tomorrow for a much longer time, because that game is shockingly more stable. And I'll try to figure out what's wrong with KSP so that it's playable by next week. And also do some low-tier, really boring science missions as well to get, earn us some funding off-stream. But anyways, uh, take care, and have a good night all.